you, you know, thinking now about the name of these, Snow Beach, it's like, I don't like snow and I don't like beaches. But I like these shoes, like, a lot. Like, a whole lot. So what is going on people? I mentioned in the, what was that, there's a 12 video, the blue 12, the blue suede 12. I mentioned in that video that I was going to be pulling out a handful of things that haven't been worn but haven't been reviewed either because I bought them before I started doing reviews, right? So now, today, Thursday, what is it? February 20th, it's been a while since I did the last video, I feel like anyway. But anyway, so now it's Thursday, so it's time to look back at things of the past, right? That's what they say. But before we get into the shoes, one other thing we're going to look back on. Last week, last week on Valentine's Day, as some of you know, it was actually my brother's birthday. So I sent him a pair of shoes because he doesn't really have many and he asked for a pair, right? He wanted one of mine, one of my old ones, and I was like, I don't have time to deal with that. So I'll just send you a pair, right? From Foot Locker, wherever it has, whatever makes sense for you. So I sent him the shoes, he got them today, and his response when he looked at him was I feel fly just owning these so, something like that right and that's like the exact response you want to have when you open up something you know I mean we've all bought something and been underwhelmed by it. maybe it's shoes maybe it's a game maybe it's I don't know maybe you, you just went to a movie and you're like well that was not worth the time it took me to get here and the time it took to watch the movie but he got those it all worked out like I thought it would work out so cool very cool Flyknit 3s, Vapor Max 3s if you're wondering. Multicolor, of course. Anyway, so now, now, moving on past that on to what we're actually here for, which is this box, this box of shoes that I bought some time ago, some time ago. Uh, give you a little close-up, well, it's, uh, it's close-ish. The Nike box, right? Nothing too fancy about that. On the side is all the stuff that you're gonna see on the inside of here to show that to you just in case, because every so often, Somebody might look at that because maybe it's got some information on there you want. How much were these? These were a retail of 130. No idea what I paid for them because I bought these forever ago, like I was saying. So this was May of 2018, May 18th of 2018. You know how long ago that was? If you happen to be quick with math or whatever you do. If you're me and you're not quick with math, you don't. You just know that it was a while ago. But anyways. I remember seeing these in a lot of places. They didn't really sell out too fast from what I recall, but then I wanna say they just disappeared pretty quickly, like all of a sudden they were just gone. And then they came back in stock on Nike, and it's like, all right, let's do this. Let's make this order happen. You know, can't wait this time. So $130 later, I assume, I don't know if I had any discounts or coupons or whatever, because it was a while ago. I walk away with them. And now, I've never even tried these on. They've just been sitting in the collection. Because let's see, if it was May of 18, that would have been five-ish months before all my stuff was getting packed up and I was moving and all that. So, not a lot of time. But I'm just looking these over and make sure they're all on the up and up before we get into it. And it looks like everything is. So, what that means to for me and for you is that it is now review time on this right here the Nike Air Max 1 in the Snow Beach colorway I didn't read the side of the box but I don't know what they're calling these colors so let's double check that navy gem red and vivid sulfur all right so there you go yeah cool oh it's an Air Max 1 premium who knew right you guys if you were at the box I didn't but anyways, so yes, I saw these whenever they came out, and I thought to myself, this is a pretty cool looking shoe. This is something that I'm going to want to have in my collection. But rather than just showing you those little close-ups, we're going to talk about this because that's what we do around here. So across the bottom, you've got the typical Air Max 1 outsole. Nothing too crazy, but I do like the color blocking that they went with on here. You got a little bit of red on the forefoot four foot part, some blue kind of towards the middle slash heel area. Then on the far ends on the tips here, you got all black. So that's kind of a nice little touch. Goes well with the rest of the shoe. Moving past that onto the midsole here. That is, is that white? Yeah. And it doesn't look like it's quite white. It's somewhere between white and sail, at least in my eyes with the way the lighting is here. 
and then towards the back with the air bubble there you can see there you have that red to match up with the swoosh and the insole uh, not the insole but the sock liner but the insole is actually red too so there's that but moving on past that though around the toe box here everything's looking pretty nice you got a little bit of leather action going on so that's pretty cool wraps all the way around if you're paying attention except for right there on the inside but you know that is to be expected because that's just how those are made but yeah, so there you go. It's actually pretty nice quality too. And then moving past that, this part here kind of feels like a feels like a pretty solid mesh here, as in you know to the touch. But it could just be that this is in here. Okay, yeah, that's all that is. So it feels like a normal Air Max with mesh on the top would feel like. Just got that uh, shoe tree thing going on in there. It's not really a tree, but it's just rolled up paper. And then more leather right here with the yellow. And then more mesh up here again with the, the blue, the navy, uh, excuse me, the red swoosh like I was talking about. More leather on the back. This here though, that's a nice touch. The, on the back they have the Air Max and what is this? It kind of feels like a, almost like a really solid plastic kind of feel. I don't know what you want to call that. But you got that going on with some nice color blocking as well. Overall the the thing that I liked about these was the color choices. They just all kind of worked pretty well together, at least in my opinion. Maybe yours differs, but that's fine. Anyway, so moving back over to here, around the top, you've got a, a little bit of a softer feeling mesh than you have on the toe box area for that yellow there, which matches up with what you have on those top two lace holes. Then you got your typical laces, nothing too crazy there, and Nike Air Max across the top of the tongue. On the inside, bam, just Nike Air, as you would come to expect for most of these if you've seen a pair of Air Max 1s before, which a lot of you have. So, there's that. But overall, just to give you one little close-up here of the shoe, because I'm not doing it on foot in these because I just don't want to. It's an old shoe, I mean, that's probably been reviewed to death like back in 2018, so I'm sure there are plenty of other on-foot videos to watch, so if you really want one, Go seek one out, you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe you'll find another shoe review guy that's also pretty all right or better or worse. I don't know. Then you can come tell me about it, you know? We can have a little conversation. But anyways, moving past that, we've wrapped up all the shoe part as far as like what it looks like. So now I would say that it's time to talk sizing because a lot of people like to know sizing. I bought these in a 9 because that's what I buy in my Air Maxes for the most part, right? It was a little sketchy with those, some of those Vapor Maxes had to go up half a size, it is what it is. But all in all, I kind of feel like these things fit true to size, right? I don't know, I didn't put these on, but I've worn a fair amount of Air Max 1s lately. And I'll probably be busting these out next month when Air Max month rolls around. So I'm going to stick with my saying that these are true to size because they've been true to size for like so many pairs that I bought before these and so many that I've bought after these. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say these would fit the same way. So if you happen to be an Air Max 95 guy and you're thinking about branching out to the ones, buy the same size, I assume. I don't have any 95s, but I say that because they pretty much all fit the same to me. So whatever you have, go with, the, go with that for these. Now as far as the comfort goes, these are a bit older, right? It's an Air Max 1. It's based off of some older technology from what was it like 87 or something it was a while ago so yeah i mean they're comfortable don't get me wrong but they're not like the pinnacle of comfort because at this point it's been a long time but they're still pretty solid especially considering that they are pretty old now it's also pretty crazy that this look hasn't aged at all right it's they they did a pretty fine job when they made these, I must say, because they have stood up very well over the years. A lot of things after these have come and gone and have been very, very forgotten about. But then you have a handful of old classics like this that just won't go away, which is cool, which is really cool. But anyway, so I think I've covered everything. The sizing, set the comfort, yeah, they're pretty good. They're comfortable, right? If you want something to walk around in all day, you're going to be good, right? There's better out there, but... For the price point, like these are a pretty solid go-to. I'll leave it at that. From there, you can do whatever you want, which is the same thing I say about any review I make. Take this information, then do whatever you want. 
So I would say that that has concluded everything, right? Yeah, pretty sure. If it hasn't, go ahead and say something in the comments and I will almost always reply to you. If I don't, take that as a hint that I probably answered that question in the video and I'm going to just not bother answering it again. I'm not a huge fan of repeating myself. I'm, I'm just not. Anyways, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, go ahead and have yourself a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'm going to record one more video tonight, right? Yeah, I might as well. I'll get it knocked out. It probably won't go up the same time, but whatever. So you won't see that one right now unless you're watching this later, but whatever. Just so you know, if you see me wearing this again, I did actually do the, the video. If you, had, if you don't see me in it, somewhere between now and the next five minutes, I just kind of was like, you know what? No, nope, going to bed because it is fairly late. All right. Later, people.